Hi there, my little birdies. Welcome in to this love reading. So today we have a little different intro because I want to start doing something different with you. Um, you know, since I'm currently starting to do a little bit more of short readings and just going with the flow with whatever wants to show up, I also want you to be part of it. You know, these readings are for you and we are working here as a team. So I want you to be part of that. And so what I'm thinking of starting is, you know, with each video that is premiering for your cusp, you are going to have the opportunity to choose the next topic for the next video. So all you have to do is being the premiere of the video and then on the little chat which is probably going to be on this side but you know wherever the premiere's chat is on all you have to do is put your request maybe you want to you know get messages for career maybe you have a specific question like who is it going to be my next relationship with uh maybe you want a little bit more of a spicy reading you know whatever you're feeling the need of at this moment I want you to go on and choose a, a topic, put it on the chat. We'll see how things go. I'll probably be on the live as well um, or on the premiere as well to, um, you know, talk to you and be like, OK, so we have these ideas. Which one do you want to see first? And also definitely check out the community board where I will eventually, you know, just be asking you guys, OK, what do you want to see next? All right. But I want you to be part of this. And this is going to start happening with from now forward so with every premiere that happens um and yeah so with that being said thank you for being here thank you for being on this premiere and let's get into your reading hello hello sagicorn welcome into your reading let's get here right into it so i don't know what you've been doing but it appears that you've been doing a really good job because i was seeing the fool the death card uh, the Knight of Cups and the Empress. So this tells me that you have been transforming yourself and taking leaps of faith towards your dream life and creating the things that you want. And I feel like someone is about to take a leap of faith towards you, making you an offer that you absolutely deserve. It's like, I don't know, someone is treating you right, I guess. But let's see where we go with that. I, I'm really like, oh, and we, oh, we love this. We even have this could be the one with unrequited love. So... I don't know what this is about, maybe this is what you've been letting go of, but we'll see. What is on your side here? We have new beginning, and on this person's side, we have stuck. Interesting. Forgiveness. So I kind of feel like you're definitely in this place of like taking leaps of faith in your life. I feel like you're not really interested in entertaining people that don't entertain you, you know, and... I feel like that is why you have this unrequited love. It's not that there is unrequited love here. It's because you're, again, you're you're done with people that don't give you a chance, that don't really put in the solid, meaningful effort that you deserve. And so I feel like you're really getting into this new beginning and this new beginning is definitely with the one. And I feel like this stuck person is asking for your forgiveness, coming in with communication and just let's just say that sparks, good fly, and this person is definitely chasing you. So I feel like now that you're in this place of like, I'm abundant and I won't take anything less than what I deserve. This person finally steps up and asks for your forgiveness around something. And it's totally going to be up to you if you want this or not. But we have the moon here. Look at that. Yeah, this person is definitely stepping up with this emperor. And we did see you as the empress first. So uh, I definitely feel like you're aligned with each other and you're a really good match to one another. But I feel like this person right now is holding back a lot out of fear of rejection. On your side, we have the High Priestess, Three of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm hearing you're going to tell it as it is. So you could be a little bit pissed off. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I won't blame you because I don't know what happened. But we have here the Empress on your person's side. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, and we have Death. Interesting. The Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like what's next here in this relationship? Let's start there. Um, I feel like it's a transformation where this person is definitely putting in a lot of work. Um, I feel like you're in this place of like, you're manifesting. I feel like this is you waiting for a manifestation. I don't think you're attached to It's this person. It's someone else. I want love. I want a new beginning in love. Whatever that is. So I feel like you're just setting that intention out there. And I feel like you're feeling really positive about it, especially with a high priestess in your current energy. I feel like you're feeling really capable, feeling really 
connected with your guides and with a really powerful when it comes to your manifestation skills so i feel like you're feeling good and in your next actions here with this ace of swords i feel like you were again telling it as it is so whatever this person asks about whatever or even whatever you need to say maybe you need to kind of let this person know of something um i feel like you're gonna do it and i'm even here like there's no stopping you <laughs> it's not that your guys are, are trying to stop you from doing that but it's like maybe your guides would like you to be a little bit more um i'm hearing contained with your words <laughs> so i <laughs> i just feel like your guides are so like well sagittarius is gonna do what whatever they want there's nothing to do here um i feel like they just like resigned <laughs> but um at the same time i feel like they're proud of you because you're standing your ground so you're just doing whatever feels right to you and you know i feel like this ace of swords is something that you need is something that really calls to you so do whatever whatever feels right to you but um we have the moon here with what is the energy between the two and this could actually be a same sex situation for some but i definitely feel like there there is a lot of hidden emotions here and i feel like there is a lot that is not being said and I even feel like, I don't know if there was like some sort of separation, some sort of argument. Uh, we definitely have that forgiveness, right? So maybe something was said, but I feel like you're focused on, I feel like you're focused here. And this is, has a collective, right? It has the energy between the two. So I feel like you're focused here instead of being focused here, right? Because I feel like this is the potential of the connection. I feel like this is what you can have. And I feel like you're focused on the things that didn't work between the two, on what they did, um, and on what you didn't say, or what you did say, right? It's like you're both focused on those things, and I feel like if you focus here on the love, you understand that just because you're mad at each other, and just because something happened, and I, I really don't see anything too major happening here, like uh, someone being cheated on or something like that if that was your case then i don't i i don't think this reading is for you i just feel like there was some sort of argument there was something that i don't know maybe it was like right wrong timing right person wrong timing something like that but i feel like if you focus there on the feelings that you have for each other on the love you see that this argument this separation is nothing and that you're going to be able to overcome it as a couple and together right because I really feel like this person wants to work together with you and they really want to make this relationship work and they want to put in the effort. I feel like they see who has long-term potential. I feel like they're also taking really good care of themselves and I love seeing this Empress Emperor energy. So I really feel like they're they're doing good. I feel like they're really finding the balance within themselves and becoming the person they want to be. Um, and I feel like they're getting ready for you. Do you want them back? I feel like that is the biggest question. Okay. Um, but we even have spiritual blessings but let's see here what do we have for your side what else do we need to know so we have the runner yeah we have third party and forgiveness so right now you're the runner in this connection and i feel like it is important that you try and understand what do you want okay what do you truly want and it's not um i feel like it's what is your heart want because i feel like that's going to align with what do you want right because maybe you're focused on this like forgiveness and focused on closing something out but i don't think you're focused on opening something up either with this person or with someone else i feel like you could be running away a little bit from love in general and maybe that's something that you need to think about you know and, and just ask yourself am i open to this you know am i open to love that really stuck with me so so maybe that was something important i'm going to repeat it i feel like you're focused on closing something out and not on opening something up so maybe you're focused on having this conversation with this person and saying all the things that you need to say to close that chapter and to just move on what are you going to say to make them stay what are you going to say to open love what are you going to tell your guides? Like, this is the person I want. You know, this, these qualities, these traits. This is what I want in a partner. What are you going to say then? Because I feel like we haven't thought about that yet. 
And I feel like that is the one thing that is stopping you from love, okay? But let's get here into your person side. Kind of feel like they're kind of waiting for you. Something like that. But we have unconditional love. Yeah, this person is really like, I want you. I love you. And I'm willing to take a risk towards you because like, you're the person of my dream. So this is what I want. And with this death, what is next here? We have mask, betrayal, which kind of, how do you want to go? Yeah, sideways. So I feel like you're changing this betrayal energy. I feel like you're... And I feel like this is also betrayal towards yourself. Um, I feel like you're really understanding yourself, understanding your feelings, and understanding what you want out of the situation. And I feel like that kind of lifts up this energy of this didn't work to this could work, you know? Um, I feel like it opens your eyes a little bit. And I feel like you, you open your heart to some emotions that you are repressing of some sort which could be emotions of love okay so what would this person like to say you heard me my feelings are stronger than they look and you deserve better so i feel like there is this feeling of you know i know that i hurt you and you deserve better than that but you also hurt me you know and i don't know if you're focused on getting forgiveness from them and maybe there's also something that you need to apologize for let's see here what else would this person like to say i love the way you talk smile walk breathe i love everything about you he she is just a friend let's create the love we deserve and i have a huge crush on you like dude this person is like so willing to fight for you i really feel like you're all they want I'll see you again soon. I've tried to move on so many times, but I always come back to you. And we were happy in another life. With this, I just see you as a friend. Yeah, that is not really the truth. It's just that your love is intimidating. Give me a few days here so you could be hearing from them very soon. Uh, we're seeing them very soon. Maybe your guides are kind of cooking something up for you to meet unexpectedly. But I definitely feel like there's something here around... Um, my, man, this person just wants you, you know. Do you want them? So, let's get here. I want to... I, okay, I've just realized that for the past three readings, I haven't pulled any timing. And I was supposed to. <laughs> I set that intention, but I guess timing for those readings weren't important. Well, actually, in one of them, I did mention. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> I feel better now, but I'll bring my little box card for you. Um, but we have practice compassion, th see things from a fresh perspective. There we go. We're all just stardust. We also have homework, take yourself on a date and spend quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. Yeah. So I feel like this is related because it kind of wanted to come out into reverse. So it's like, sure, take yourself out on a date, but also take this person out on a date. Um, and I feel like you kind of need that. You know, I feel like you, you need to express some emotions that maybe you're afraid of expressing, like, I love you. And I feel like you're even afraid of expressing those emotions to yourself. Not in, like, I love you, me, right? It's, it's like, I love this person. And that can, that can be quite frightening. But maybe that is the step that you need, okay? But I definitely feel like you need to spend time together. I definitely feel like you need to take some, um to have some conversation here with them and I really feel like there is this feeling of you're part of the same tribe you're part of the same soul energy that is settled there's nothing to argue there I just feel like there is this feeling of like see things from a fresh perspective try to have a little I don't know just be open be open to receiving new information from this person and to seeing your own actions in a new way okay let me grab you that timing and see here what do we have for you. We have 23rd, so 23rd of August of, or of a month could be significant. 
So we have, in a couple of weeks, Aquarius. That could be significant. We actually have a full moon in Aquarius, so that could be a significant time as well. But then we have the 26th. So apparently the end of the month is going to be quite relevant. And then we have unclear timing. So I feel like it's more about... I feel like this unclear timing, it's depending on whether you want this person or not. Um, and I feel like this full moon in Aquarius could reveal a lot of important things to you about this connection, about your emotions. And yeah, just get ready to be surprised F by yourself. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think it's a, from this person, but I feel like they could also be. But I feel like it's mostly from yourself. But with that being said, thanks so much for being here, Sagittarian. I really hope this helped and resonated. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if haven't already. I would love to have you here. And I don't know, it's feeling good to be back doing these readings and just helping you out in whatever way I can. So yeah, thank you for being here because I can do this as my career because of you. So thank you. And that is the easiest way for you to support me is just smashing the like button, watching this video and subscribing. So yeah, if you want to support me any further, if you want to dive deeper into this, link is going to be down below for a private reading. You can also check out my Patreon for weekly messages and Twin Flame um, weekly messages. Um, but if you feel called to tip me, all of those links are going to be down below. Okay, so with that being said, thank you so much for being here. I love you very much. I wish you the best and I will see you in the next one.